Hey guys, I am back from Jamaica. I'm here in the Bahamas on an island called Nassau. Nassau is the capital of the Bahamas and I asked my taxi driver and he said that about 95% of the island is developed. So they have a lot of really nice stores here, a lot of tourist attractions, but we're not going to be staying on the island. We're going to be island hopping on our way back to Miami. And we're here on this incredible boat. I'm going to show you guys a nice little tour of it. But we're going to be sleeping and traveling on this boat. And then on this one, we're going to be spearfishing. We're going to get settled in. I'm going to show you a little tour. Before we get into it, I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Spectre C team for inviting me on this incredible charter. Spectre C is a luxury lifestyle brand that owns a fleet of yachts from Vanquish and San Lorenzo that range from 40 to 90 feet in length. On this trip, we'll be traveling on their 88-foot San Lorenzo named No Time to Die and their 40-foot Vanquish named Money Penny. Look at this gorgeous boat. This is the 88-foot San Lorenzo named No Time to Die. It's gorgeous. It's bigger than my apartment. Look at this place. It's honestly one of the most impressive boats I've been on. I wish you guys could be here. I'm so impressed by the Spectre Sea team. They go above and beyond to provide you with a truly world-class experience. They're able to organize your entire trip by booking jet charters, car services, chefs, mixologists, you name it. But it just really allows you to enjoy a turnkey experience from start to finish. So you really don't have to worry about anything. If you're interested, these charters are available in Miami, Florida, the Bahamas, and even in the Hamptons. All right, guys, I'm here with my friend Angel. Hey, good morning. You guys have seen him before in my spearfishing videos in Miami. And we also have Stella here, who's a new friend of mine we just Hi. met. We're going to have such a great time. We're taking off. We're hoping to stop at a wreck on our way out. We'll see how it goes. We're here fueling up at, you know what this marina's called? This is uh, Hurricane, Hurricane Cove. Okay, so Hurricane Home Arena, and this is Captain Angel. He's gonna tell us about our trip. What can we expect? So right now we are fueling up the Vanquish, and in no time to die, the San Lorenzo is fueling on another marina, and uh, we're gonna head over Chabki. But before that, uh, because we're way faster than the <laughs> San Lorenzo, we're gonna uh, stop at, uh, right outside here on a beautiful wreck. We went out of the day, it was like, 10, 20 feet, super shallow. All right. There were massive groupers, matons, there were any kind of fish you can think of. Awesome. So we're gonna shoot something there and then we're gonna start heading over Chapki and uh, probably we're gonna stop again and shoot some other fish over there. <laughs> A lot of spear fishing. Yeah. And as soon as uh, No Time to Die comes in, we're gonna uh, dock the big boat at the marina mm -hmm. and then I think that uh, we have enough time to go out again at sunset. Uh, All right. We're gonna shoot some fish there. From there, tomorrow we're gonna head over Great Isaac Island, okay. which is north of Bimini. It's a beautiful island in the middle of nowhere. It should be pretty calm, so we're gonna anchor out. Mm -hmm. And then it's great. Big, big Wahoo is a great place because it's right on the edge. We love before Wahoo. Of the, before of the Gulf State. And then it should all back to Florida. It's gonna be an awesome trip, guys. Oh, yeah. And are we gonna be cooking the fish and preparing Absolutely. the fish? We have the full kitchen on the San Lorenzo. All right. So we're going to have some catch, clean and cooks coming to you guys. Oh yeah, a lot of cleaning too, especially. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right guys, wish us luck. We're so excited to be here in Bahamas and no it's going to be a, a fantastic, fantastic trip. Sometimes people take your breath, that's okay. <laughs> to our first spot and look at this water oh my god look you can see the wreck from the boat this water is incredible there's no water like Bahamian water we're gonna suit up jump in hopefully shoot some fish wish us luck Oh, 
All right, guys, got geared up. Gonna jump in, see what we can find. Got an octopus. Whew. That would be good. Yeah. Climb up. Oh my god! Oh, strong! <laughs> wow, look at it! <laughs> Thank you! Oh, hey guys, check out what I got! My first octopus! Look at this guy, it's a pretty nice size! He was sticking to me like crazy. He would not, he did not want to let go. He was crawling up on my back and like all over the place. But yeah, I'm super excited. 
We're gonna have some really nice dinner tonight, that's for sure. Hey guys, we just finished with our first spa. I got an octopus. I was stalking a dog snapper for a while, but he escaped me. But Angel got uh, trigger fish. Trigger fish, Lady Margaret. Yeah. Two lionfish. Yeah. And I chased a 50 pound flag group for the entire time. Yeah, that wasn't gonna help. No. <laughs> the groupers here are really skittish, so couldn't really get near any of those, but we're gonna try again. We're going out to Chub K. We have an hour ride, so we took off our wetsuits to be more, a little more comfortable. See you there. to Chub K. Look at this water. It is so clear. It looks like the sand is right there, but it's probably like, what, 20 feet deep, do you think? Um, yeah. But it's so beautiful here. What a picture-perfect little island. Look at this. So beautiful. All right, guys, we had a little snack aboard, no time to die. Now we're back on the Money Penny, and we're gonna head out. We're in Chub K. Gonna check out some spots around here. Hopefully we can get a little bit more food for dinner, although I think we have a good amount, but we're here for a few days, so we need to stock up. All right, we're gonna head out. So we hit one spot for the sunset. We got a bunch of lionfish, which are delicious, raw or cooked. If you guys haven't tried it, you gotta try them out. They're super good and they're an invasive species. So killing them is actually really good for the environment. So we're gonna head back to the big boat and we're gonna probably shower, get ready, cook up some dinner. We're gonna take you along with us. Are you ready for our octopus dinner? <laughs> We're super excited. Guys, this is Tony. Hello. Are you the captain of the other boat? I'm the captain of the big boat, yeah. He's the captain of the big boat. Time to die. Back to the sea team uh, at go complete. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you back at the boat. Wow, it's so beautiful. We go out in Miami, we also have a shuffleboard. Yeah, we also have a shuffleboard. At least a shuffleboard. Ah. <laughs> 
All right, guys, we're back at the San Lorenzo, and this is our catch of the day. It's a white Margate, nice rock, rock grouper. grouper. This guy who I attacked, and he attacked me back. Then we have lionfish and a beautiful triggerfish. All right, now we're gonna fillet everything, prepare them, and for dinner we're having which ones? Octopus. Octopus. White Margate. Mm-hmm. Um, the rockfish? The rockfish? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rock the rock pooper? All right, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. We're on a spear, spear fish yeah, that's a fat one. <laughs> Guys, we're here in the kitchen. I got Angel here. Four, five, six. And we're missing two tentacles. Yeah, I'm missing two legs. So, the octopus live what, one year? So this is uh, 11 months and 29 days, so we don't feel bad about it. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, I never kill a octopus, huh? by the way, just for the records. So, yeah, I saw it and I was like, oh, should I get it? I don't know. But, I mean, they're so delicious. And it was big and they only live for a year and their death is very painful if they just die naturally. So, so just... We give it a better... A better we, We're going to honor... It's life in a better way. Exactly. So what we're gonna do is take out everything that's inside the head. We're gonna take out the guts, the beak, all of that good stuff. And then we're going to beat it so that it tenderizes the meat a bit. And then we're gonna boil it in some water. And then we're gonna grill it. And then we grill it. Angel is Italian, so you should know how to cook it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's see how it comes out. So guys, that was the mouth of the octopus. That's where they eat from. Ooh, look at that. It looks like a parrot beak. <laughs> <laughs> it's too slippery. I really thought it was gonna bite me. I was really worried. That would be the best <laughs> on the record for Laura to be beaten by a sea creature. By an octopus. You have to add that one on the book after the lobster bite. No, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to stop getting bitten by ocean creatures. Oh, look at that. Let me do it sideways. You see it? It look, looks like a, like a parapeak. Yeah. Very cool. Now we need to find the eyes. We don't have the proper tool here. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a proper tenderizer, so he's using the butt of a mug. All right, into the pot. With no salt. No salt? No, no, no. Otherwise, it's gonna get really, really hard. Is there anything in the water? It's just water. Water and uh, there's a little bay leaf and rosemary. Okay. All right, so this is an emulsion of olive, olive oil, mm -hmm. white wine, yeah. oh, sorry. lemon juice, mm -hmm. salt, pepper, mm -hmm. and a little bit of uh, Jose's Monta Pica. All right, delicious. We're gonna use it on the octopus, put it on. And then grill it? Grilled. Nice. Wow, look how it curled up. That's so cool. So we boiled the octopus. How long was it in there for? Uh, 40 minutes at the end. For 40 minutes. Now we're going to prepare it to go on the grill. Yes. So we're going to cut it up and then put that emulsion on it and grill it up on the barbecue. Hopefully we beat it enough. Yeah. The beating process was not really easy. Yeah. With the mug. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try it like so this one is just boiled. We haven't barbecued it yet, but let's see. Oh my goodness. That's really good. I would eat it just like that. Yeah. Oh my God. It's Wait, so it's tender. Real. I mean, that was, that was really tender. I think you did a great job tender. Uh, I like it more tender, but that's what we could do with the mug. Yeah. It's really your mission like that. Well, that was, already delicious so i'm super excited to try it with that emulsion and thrown on 
on the grill. Yes. <laughs> All right. Good idea. Stick with us. Angel spoke to some friends of ours and they gave us a little bit of advice for the next octopus that we get. They said that the best thing to do is to allow the octopus to rest for about a day so that the meat tenderizes a little bit more. But we didn't have time to do that. We really wanted to try the octopus, but I'm sure it's still gonna be incredible. Another option if you don't wanna let it rest for a day is that you can let it freeze and then defrost it. And that also tenderizes the meat. So, we have it on the grill. Looking good? Back. <laughs> oh my god. It was so good. Alright guys, let's try this octopus out. I pulled this guy from a shipwreck. Poor thing, but it looks delicious. Let's see. <laughs> Worked up well. Angel, it's so soft, so tender. The flavor is incredible. Mm -hmm. The emulsion is perfect. And the skin is crispy. The inside is nice and soft. I'm glad I got it. Are you guys glad I got it? I oh, got it. Thank you, Lauren. You're welcome. Good job. Wow guys, we just finished an incredible dinner. It was so good. All the fish were delicious and that octopus was so tender. I'm so happy that I got it. But uh, we're gonna go to sleep now. We have an early morning tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for part two. Bye.